Have you ever heard of the heart and kidney connection? Well, if you haven't, you've come to the right place. Kidneys and heart, heart and kidneys are linked together and problems in one can cause problems in the other. So if you have heart disease or kidney disease, I'm gonna tell you why you need to be paying attention to the other one. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, thanks for joining. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman. I'm a board certified kidney doctor and I'm also the cooking doc and everything we talk about here, this is just information. This is not medical advice. Please consult your doctor for medical advice. Thanks so much for watching today. Hit that subscribe button, click that bell so you never miss a new recipe or new health tip. So any good doctor will look at the body as a whole because everything is connected. The heart is connected to the kidneys, is connected to the liver, is connected to the gut, is connected to the brain, is connected to the arteries and the veins. Anyways, you get my drift. Today we're gonna to focus on one of the most important connections in the body though, the heart and kidney connection. If you have chronic kidney disease, it's important to pay attention to your heart. And if you have heart disease of any kind, it's important to take care of your kidneys. Let's talk about how they're linked and what you can do to protect the other. Let's start with the basics. The heart pumps the blood. And when it pumps the blood through the body, one of the organs that it goes to is the kidneys. And the kidneys rely on the heart pumping that blood to the kidneys so the kidneys can do their job. Now the kidneys have lots of jobs, but the main job that I'm gonna focus on today is getting rid of extra water, getting rid of extra salt, and also getting rid of the waste products that build up in your body from the general maintenance of the daily work of the body and from the things that you eat. So when the heart is not pumping the blood correctly, the kidneys can have trouble doing their job. This can happen in a chronic problem with something like chronic heart failure, or it can happen in an acute problem. If you or somebody you know or love has been in the hospital with acute heart failure, then that can lead to kidney problems as well because the heart is not letting the kidneys do their job. The kidneys can do a great job if the heart is working well. If your kidneys are in otherwise perfect shape, but the heart is not working well, then the kidneys can have trouble. And then if you have chronic kidney disease and the heart is not working well, then you can have double trouble. So the kidneys are fully dependent on the heart. There are also medications that you may be on for coronary artery disease or congestive heart failure that can impact the kidney's ability to do their job. That's one of the hardest things that we doctors manage. When you need medicines for one thing, but they tend to make something else worse. We have to find the balance, walk that tightrope so the medications make some things a little bit better and some things maybe a little bit worse, but not too much worse but the overall outcome is good for you as a person trying to fight through these things. So again, looking at somebody as a whole, not necessarily as individual organs. There are other ways in which heart problems can impact the kidneys. So we talked about the heart not pumping enough blood forward to the kidneys, but also sometimes there can be blood backed up behind the heart because it's not shooting that blood out forward. And when the blood backs up behind the heart, it can back up into the renal veins and when it backs up into the renal veins around the kidneys, the blood flow kind of coming from the kidneys, the kidneys can also have trouble filtering. So you can see there's a complex thing that can happen when the heart's not working that can lead to kidney problems. Now, a lot of these things are reversible, right? So if you come into the hospital and you have bad heart problems because the fluid has built up and you relieve the fluid buildup, you can sometimes make the kidneys better. And if you have heart problems, there are some things that you can do to really help protect your kidneys. The first is minimize your salt, sodium. We've talked about this a lot on this program, but really if there's a number one thing that you need to do to help benefit your kidneys if you have heart problems, and that's limit how much salt or sodium that you eat in your diet. The other things you can do are continue to take your medicines and weigh yourself at home so you know whether or not you build up too much fluid or too little fluid and follow up real closely with your cardiac doctor and your kidney doctor. So that's one access, heart problems leading to kidney problems. Now let's look at it the other way. If you have chronic kidney disease, you are at higher risk for coronary artery disease, and you are also higher at risk for things like heart arrhythmias, especially if you have end-stage kidney disease and you are on dialysis. So if you're dealing with chronic kidney disease, we wanna make sure we're doing everything possible for your overall health to help protect your heart as well. So there are a lot of ways in which the kidneys can impact the heart, but one of the main ones is that the kidneys process the salt and the water. And if you have chronic kidney disease or if you are on dialysis and the salt and the water is not being expelled correctly by your kidneys, then that can build up in your heart and that could cause pressure on your heart and cause your heart to stretch. 
So when the heart stretches, you're at higher risk for things like arrhythmias. That's where the heart goes out of rhythm and can cause problems. Kidney disease is also a risk factor for coronary artery disease. So that's plaque buildup in the arteries around your heart. And when the plaque builds up in the arteries around your heart, you're at higher risk of having a heart attack. So as you can see, the heart and the kidneys are kind of intertwined like that, but also the conditions that you have that have caused your kidney disease or heart disease, such as lupus or diabetes or vascular disease, those type of things impact both organs. So not only does one problem in the heart impact the kidneys, but the thing that is overlying causing each of these may be impacting both your organs. Now that all may sound scary, but now I'm gonna tell you the good news. So if you're watching your kidney health and the heart health, a lot of the things that you could do to make them better actually overlap. So things like taking your heart medicines and taking your blood pressure medicines and taking your cholesterol medicines can help both organs going forward. If you have diabetes, you control your diabetes. Also controlling your blood pressure helps the heart and helps the kidneys. Eating a lower sodium diet helps the heart, helps the kidneys. Focusing on plant-based proteins and fruits and vegetables helps the heart, helps the kidneys. Eating less sugary drinks helps the heart, helps the kidneys. Not eating as much fast food helps the heart, helps the kidneys. Now stop me if you've heard these things before. I know you have. This is not rocket science, right? Don't smoke. Try to maintain a healthy weight. Stay active. All those things will help both organs very well. Now you as a patient dealing with both these things also should be cognizant of these issues because this is your health and your doctor may not always be paying as much attention as you will be as the patient. We doctors are good, sure, but we're busy. And so you need to look out for your kidney health and your heart health. And if you have one or the other, make sure your doctor is focused on protecting the other one as well. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Dr. Blake Schusman. I'm a board certified kidney doctor and I'm also the cooking doc. I am honored that you're here and I'm proud of you for looking at your health and looking up ways to try to make your health better. We have accurate scientific information on my show. Make sure you check out my website, cookingdoc.com, for lots of new recipes and health tips. Check out my book, The Cooking Doc's Kidney Healthy Cooking, a modern 10-step guide to preventing and managing kidney disease, and I will see you next time.